Kasi Bukradesh the Banda Ela Bara Moksha do Rabali Barusha do Labari Barush to Venda E Asa Bara Kadush the Kandili Borush the Banda E Ramasura Bashandali Marabadi Akura Mashandali E Praya Tokus Paradi E Praya Tokus Paradi Le Bara Makura Mashatali E Zobrogodo Shambali Akosa Randi Father, we bless your holy name. Lord, we praise you. Good morning, Heavenly Father. Good morning, Lord Jesus. Good morning, Holy Spirit. Have your way in our midst today. Do what only you can do. We receive all trans to pray. We receive grace to pray today. In in the mighty name of Jesus, Mashala Barakati Maskoteria, Le Brayako Sabreate, Sham Brayako Sali Bradoshtaka, Espregadish Tale, Kora Badia Sataria, Kora Badia Sataria, Kora Badia Sataria. Father, we praise you. Lord, we bless your name. We welcome you into our midst, Father. Maleke Tora Bakasila Baratashtaka. We come against all forms of distractions. We come against every form of distraction in this place. We come against every form of distraction around us. In the name of Jesus, we rebuke them. In the name of Jesus, we rebuke them. In the name of Jesus, we rebuke them. We decree and declare that our hearts are receptive unto you, that our mind is here. Lasso Tarama Shataka. Father, you have our ears this morning. Father, you have our ears this morning. Lebo Robo Shokata. Libra Gadia Boskavanda. E kora bashata li bradesh teke raba basila bradiaska am live on mixelar kazi pravasha tu bregisha dale gesu progo dushta e koboro moshanta li bradosh tokuza bali marashta keria oh father we receive all trans to pray let your fire fall in our homes today let your power be felt in our homes today let your grace be available for us today in the name of jesus let your fire fall in our homes today let your fire be felt in our homes today let your grace be supplied today let there be such a supply of your spirit on this altar in the mighty name of jesus christ let there be a supply of your spirit on this altar today in the mighty name of jesus christ clothe us with your power clothe us with your fire in the name of jesus spirit of the living god speak to us oh god speak to us oh god as we pray minister to us as we pray let everything change let everything change in the name of jesus christ let everything change in the name of jesus christ marabashata Kalibra <speaking in Spanish> Enta la bakura bashatalia. Lebro koto zebra gadi ashtake. Lebro koto zebra gadi ashtake. Let your fire fall in our lives today. Father, let destinies be altered. Let marriages be turned around. In the name of Jesus, let marriages be turned around. Let our homes feel your fire. Let our homes feel your fire today. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let our homes feel your presence today. Let your presence saturate every home represented on this altar. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Please let me know if you can hear me. On Mixelar, I've um, restarted. I just refreshed again. So let me know if you can hear me on Mixelar. Mashele Barakatosh Tigandi. 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 Let your power be felt on this altar today. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I don't know what's going on with Mixelar. It's just rolling and it says I'm live. I don't know what's happening. Okay, 
Fale makura ba shekate. Fani makura ba shekata. All right, gotcha. Kenda masula bari atoshtaka. Let your fire be felt in our homes today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let your power saturate our lives. Let your favor saturate our homes. Let your oil saturate every marriage. In the name of Jesus. Now begin to prophesy over your life. Begin to speak over your marriage. Begin to speak over your marriage. Let your oil saturate my marriage. Let your fire saturate my marriage. Let your power be felt in my marriage. Let your anointing fall upon my marriage. Let your hand be mighty on my home. In the name of Jesus Christ, let your grace saturate my home. Let your grace saturate my marriage. Let your grace saturate my home. Let your hand be upon my family for good. In the mighty name of Jesus, single and married, this prayer is for you. Do not exempt yourself from it. As you pray, you are praying in advance. You are praying ahead. You don't have to wait till you are married before you pray for your marriage. Begin to speak over your marriage. Let your power saturate my marriage. Let your fire saturate my marriage. Let your oil of ease saturate my marriage. In the name of Jesus Christ, let everything that was difficult in my marriage become easy. Let everything that was hard in my marriage become easy. In the name of Jesus, let your anointing saturate my marriage. Let your healing anointing saturate saturate my marriage. Let your healing power saturate my home in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Makasuliti marosh tekeria, moske barusti barista barasta barusti barista, leprokoto bikarata bikarata bikarata. Let your fire surround my marriage. Let your fire surround my home. Let your power surround my marriage, Father. Build an edge around my home. Build an edge around my family. Build an edge around my marriage. In the name of Jesus, let your hand be upon my marriage. Makole barashatake dosiate. Makole barashatake dosiate. Makole barashatake dosiate. Let your fire surround my marriage. Let your fire surround my marriage. Let your hand keep my marriage. In the name of Jesus Christ, let your hand surround my marriage, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, Mashalati Karo Moshtaka, Leka Brodo Dubaraba Santari Gadosha. Let your grace saturate my marriage, Father. Let everything that was hard become easy. In the name of Jesus Christ, let your anointing saturate my marriage. Let everything that was tough become easy. In the name of Jesus Christ, Makaraba Shatali Bradosha. Let your healing anointing saturate my marriage. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let your hand be upon my marriage for good. Let your angels surround my marriage. Espredi basula bariato superegadish bariato superegadish bariatosa. E kalomatosa, e kalomatosa linda. E kalomatosa linda, e kalomatosa linda. E la braba bashada liga brosteke. Marabase ketere bakala barakatos kata. Le breketo zupra kati mosteke. Rabakadia barakadia barakadia barakadia. In the name of Jesus, mare bashata libra dosteke. Rakasi Cambrados, Rakasi Cambrados, Rakasi Cambrados, Rakasi Cambrados, Allah. Let your fire saturate my marriage. Let your fire surround my marriage, Father. Shield my marriage from all forms of attack. Shield my marriage from all forms of attack. Shield my marriage from all forms of attack. In the name of Jesus Christ. Shield my marriage from all forms of attack. Every arrow fired at my marriage. Every finger pointed at my marriage. Father, shield my marriage from all forms of attack. In the name of Jesus Christ, shield my home from all forms of attack. In the name of Jesus, let your, your, let your grace saturate my marriage. In the mighty name of, let your love saturate my marriage. Let your love saturate my marriage. In the name of Jesus Christ, shield my marriage from all forms of attack. Mashila barato koziate. Ezo prepatala, ezo prepatala, ezo prepatala, ezo prepatala. E kabari no ro koshtege, e kabari no yo koshta ka, e kabari no yo koshta ka. Shield my marriage from every form of attack. In the name of Jesus, let your 
purpose and your will for my marriage stand. Let your purpose and your will for my marriage stand in the name of Jesus. Do you know that God has a purpose for your marriage? There is a reason that God gave you to that man. There is a reason God gave that man to you. There is something the both of you are meant to achieve together. There is assignment. There is an assignment on your marriage. Your marriage has an assignment. Your marriage has a destiny to fulfill. Your marriage has a calling to answer. There is a purpose for your marriage. God did not just bring you together so that you can create children. So that you can have children and then you can build a house and then you cross your leg and then what? No, there is a purpose for your marriage. You're going to say, Father, the reason that you created this marriage, the purpose behind my, my, my marriage, the assignment over my marriage, that thing that you have called my marriage to do, Father, let it come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your plans and your purpose for my marriage manifest. Let your plans and your will for my marriage come to pass. Let the counsel of the Lord for my marriage stand. Single ladies, this is why you cannot marry anyhow. Single men, this is why you cannot marry anyhow. Because if you marry the wrong person, you miss the assignment for your marriage. You miss the purpose for your marriage. You miss the assignment, the destiny that God has placed on your marriage. You miss out on it. So you're going to enforce it. That Father, in the name of Jesus, my marriage will fulfill purpose. The purpose behind my marriage will manifest. The assignment upon my marriage will come to pass. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against my marriage. The gates of hell shall not prevail against my marriage. The will of the enemy shall not prevail against my marriage. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the gates of hell shall not prevail against my marriage. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let the assignment that you have for my marriage be fulfilled let the assignment that you have for my marriage come to pass let your will for my home come to pass that purpose that you have for my marriage father we decree that we we'll walk in it my marriage will be built on the purpose of god if you are single divorced single parent whatever it is say father the purpose that you have for my marriage it will be fulfilled it will be fulfilled my marriage will be founded upon the rocks my marriage will be founded upon the foundation of christ in the name of jesus christ the gates of hell shall not prevail the gates of hell shall not prevail in the name of jesus christ echo sali bradoshtakaria manza prebadoli barabasila brabadeli brababasila bradeli barabashantalia the purpose for my marriage shall materialize in the name of Jesus. The assignment for my marriage will come to pass. God's will for my marriage will stand. Nevertheless, the will of the Lord concerning my marriage shall stand in the name of Jesus Christ. The intention of God for my marriage will come to pass. The intention of God for my home will stand in the mighty name of Jesus. Single men, single women, you have to pray for yourself. I will not miss it. Order my steps in my marriage order my steps in my marriage divinely align me align me father align me to your perfect will align me to your perfect will cut away every distraction if you are single you need to pray this prayer cut away every distraction let my eyes be focused on that which you have proposed for my marital destiny i will not marry the wrong woman i will not marry the wrong man take away strange women from my life take away strange men from my life take away strange women from my life take away strange men from my life in the name of jesus christ take them away from my life father in the mighty name of jesus if you're single here yeah, i want you to consecrate yourself to god i want you to rededicate your body to god the Bible says your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. You cannot merge your body with just anyone. You cannot mingle with just anyone. Your body must be consecrated afresh. You're going to ask the Lord. You say, Father, consecrate my body afresh for you. I rededicate my body from you, for you, oh God. I rededicate my body to you, Father. Every part of my body, I yield it to you. I lay it at your altar. Let your fire saturate my body. Let your fire purify my body. Let your fire consecrate my body. Take, a, take away strange men from my life. Take away strange women from my life. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
change my taste buds change my taste buds change my appetite for unholy things change my appetite for unholy things remove it from my life everything that i'm doing that does not please you with my body father change it for me turn it around for me remove that appetite from my life in the name of jesus christ for those who are struggling with masturbation struggling with sexual addiction struggling with all kinds of things today you are going to be dedicating your body you know when you are preparing for marriage you don't just prepare the hall your assignment is not just to prepare the hall your assignment is not just to prepare the venue the decoration the the food the caterer and all of those things the bible says in those days before a woman will get married 12 12 months she saturates herself in different kinds of oil my sense of all kinds purification for 12 months look at the story of esther there was a purification process the women had to stay in a place for 12 months sanctifying themselves cleaning themselves just to have one night with the king a king that might not even call them back a king that might not even look at them twice in fact, if he does not remember their name, that's the end. If she becomes a concubine, they'll just find one self-contained for her in the palace. And that's where she will be for the rest of her life. There's preparation. Not just physical preparation, but spiritual preparation for the assignment called marriage. Marriage is an assignment. Marriage is a big deal. Marriage, that is why you cannot afford to pick on face value. You can't select based on face value. You can't say, oh, this is how I'm going to do it. Oh, this one is fine. This one has my quality. Yes, it's good. It's good. You know, I mean, I'm not saying eh, the only quality for selection must be spiritual, must be physical. But beyond the physical preparation, beyond the physical selection, you must look beyond that. You must be deeper than that. You are deep. You're a spiritual man. You're a spiritual woman. There are preparations in advance. Amen. So you're going to be asking the Lord, purify my body afresh. Sanctify this vessel. Prepare me for marriage. Sanctify my body. I keep myself from today. I keep myself for you. From today, I keep myself. If you're a man, you're a woman. This prayer is for you. From today, prepare me, God. Prepare me for marriage. Prepare me for marriage. Saturate me with your healing anointing. Some people need healing in their body. Some people have been abused. They've been mistreated. They've been raped. You need healing. You need a cleansing. You need a lot to touch your body and prepare you. If not, if you get married with that same extra luggage, that burden on your soul, if you carry it and join it with another man, you will not be whole. That marriage will go through things, will suffer repercussions of the actions and the things that men have done to you in the past. So you're going to ask the Lord, heal my body, sanctify me afresh. If you are married, ask the Lord to sanctify you. If you are single, ask the Lord to sanctify you, to consecrate your body, to concentrate your vessel afresh unto the Lord, that the Lord will begin to prepare you for marriage, that the Lord will make you whole, that the Lord will make you whole, that the Lord will sanctify you, that the Lord will keep you, that the Lord will protect you, that the Lord will shield you, that the Lord will heal your body, heal your mind, heal your soul, that everything will be prepared for marriage. In the name of Jesus, the spiritual preparation that you need for marriage. Lord, let the process start in my life today. Let the process start in my life today. The spiritual preparation that I need for my marriage. Let the process start in my life today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, prepare him for me. Prepare me for him. Prepare him for me and prepare me for him. In the name of Jesus Christ. Morati Aranosh Tekeria. Morati Aranosh Tekeria. Morati Aranosh Tekeria. Malabakora Bashata Libra Doshtaka. E Costa Villa Maracotosi Eteri Mashantaria. Le Cabrai Catore Makoska Landia. E Crede Vusule Baria Toshteke. Rabba Papa Leketori Mashantalia. Father, drive away strange men from my life. Strange women, time wasters. 
drive them far from me. In the name of Jesus, if you are married, say, Father, shield my marriage from strange men. Shield my marriage from strange women. Shield my, shield my home from strange men. Shield my marriage from strange women. In the name of Jesus, let your fire guard my marriage. Let your fire guard my marriage. The Bible says, he that keeps Israel, neither sleeps nor slumber. Father, keep my marriage. Father, watch over my marriage by day and by night. Father, watch over my marriage by day and by night. In the name of Jesus, Father, keep my marriage by day and by night. In the name of Jesus Christ. Makalaba sotara mashantalia lebro so barati gadoshtaka repariya toge sule barashandaria repaliya toge sule barashandaria oh protect my marriage from strange men protect my marriage from strange women Hey, from intruders, spiritual and physical intruders, drive them far from my home, drive them far from my marriage, drive them far from my home, from spiritual and physical intruders, Father, drive them far from my marriage, Father, drive them far from my home, in the name of Jesus Christ, oh, Kalima Sola Mashantalia, protect my marriage, protect my marriage, protect my marriage, oh God, protect my marriage, oh God, protect my marriage. Father, make it difficult for the enemy to gain access. I decree that the enemy will not gain access into my marriage. I decree that the enemy will not gain access into my home. I decree that the devourer will not gain access into my marriage. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I decree that the wicked will not gain access into my marriage. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I decree that the devourer will not gain access into my marriage. No intruder will gain access into my marriage. No third parties will gain access into my marriage. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, no busybody will gain access into my marriage. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, no wicked spirit will gain access into my marriage. No foul spirit will gain access into my marriage. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I shield my marriage from all forms of attack. Pray in advance if you are single. Pray in advance. Pray ahead. Begin to pray ahead for your marriage. Anybody that has said they have a hold on my marriage, every one that has said, born of a woman or a spirit, that said I have a hold on this marriage, Father, lose their hold over my marriage, lose their hold over my home, lose their hold over my destiny, lose their hold over my marital destiny. Single ladies, single men, anyone that has said I have a hold on your marital destiny, Father, lose their grip. Lose their grip over my marriage. Lose their hold over my marriage. Lose their grip over my marital destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ, I shut the door of my marriage against every devourer, against every intruder, against every devourer, against every busybody. In the name of Jesus Christ. Malabaratoshi katandi raboshaka. Devourers of all kinds. Devourers of all kinds. Wicked spirits, foul spirit, destructive spirits. I shield my marriage from them. Father, drive them out of my home. Drive them far from me. Drive them far from me. In the name of Jesus, drive them far from me. Any storm that is raging, any flood that is on its way to my marriage, Father, let it be redirected back to sender. Any flood, any storm that is raging against my marital destiny, raging any un, 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 unholy boast, any boast of men over my marriage, Father, turn it around. Let it be reversed. In the name of Jesus Christ, we cancel every evil projection. We cancel every evil projection over my marriage. And the name of Jesus, I cancel it. I deactivate it. Every evil calculation and projection concerning my relationship, concerning my marriage, I destroy it in the name of Jesus Christ. Every evil calculation of men. Every wicked protection of men. I destroy it in the mighty name of Jesus. It will not stand, neither will it come to pass. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every wicked conclusion. Every wicked assumption. Every negative word spoken over my marriage. It is deactivated in Jesus name. Every negative word spoken over my marital destiny. Deactivated in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, thank you spirit of the living God. Thank you, Spirit of the Living God. 
Thank you, Spirit of the living God. Thank you, Spirit of the living God. Because the hand of the devourer has been rebuked. The hand of the devourer has been rebuked. The hand of the devourer has been rebuked. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The hand of the devourer has been rebuked. Concerning my marital destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ. Rebayatuli mashandalia. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every evil conclusion, every evil projection over my marriage, every spell, every divination, every curse, every negative word spoken over my marriage, I reverse it now. I reverse it now. I reverse it now. I reverse it now. In the name of Jesus, every negative word spoken over my marital destiny, I revert it now. I reverse it. In the name of Jesus, Kalemosuparata Shandalia, every curse, every divination and enchantment spoken over my marital destiny. Father, I reverse it now. In the mighty name of Jesus, it will not stand, neither shall it come to pass. In the name of Jesus Christ, it shall not stand. It shall not stand. It shall not see the light of day. In the name of Jesus Christ, the spirit of divorce, the spirit of confusion, the spirit of separation, the spirit of polygamy, the spirit of anger and rage, the spirit of envy and jealousy, the spirit of competition in marriage. I drive you far from my home, far from my marriage, far from my life, far from my union with my husband in the name of Jesus Christ. Some people are married to their competitors. Married to people that, that want to compete with you. Married to a woman that is comparing herself, comparing your achievement to achievement, competing with you. Married to a man that is comparing and, com you know, competing with you. You are going to break that spirit. You are going to cast that spirit out of your house. In the name of Jesus Christ, let that spirit lose his hold out of my marriage now in the mighty name of Jesus. Some people are married to their oppressor. Married to the number one obstacle in their lives. Every attempt to rise, he puts it down. Every attempt to do something, he puts it down. They are married to the number one. When they are looking for a witch, don't look far. Witchcraft is already in operation in their marriage. You are going to be addressing that spirit. Out of my marriage. Out of my home. Out of my marriage. Spirit of confusion. Spirit of competition. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. Spirit of division. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. If you are single, I will not marry anybody that will compete with me. Father, I will marry someone that will complement my gifts. Someone that will complement my gifts. That's the person I will marry. Give me a woman that will complement my gifts. Give me a woman that will help me achieve my purpose. Give me a woman that will help me achieve my dreams. Give me a woman that will see to it that the purpose of God on my life comes to pass. Give me a man that will complement me. Give me a man that will complement my gifts. In the name of Jesus Christ. Not a competitor, not an oppressor, not an oppressor. In the name of Jesus, I drive them far. Every oppressor that the enemy is sending my way, drive them far now. Every competitor that the enemy is sending your way, drive them away from your life in the name of Jesus. Some women will never fulfill their destiny. Why? Because they are married to a competitor. They are married to an oppressor. They are married to someone that thinks women are meant to be under their feet. They are married to someone that thinks once my wife has money, she will not respect me anymore. They are married to a man that thinks once my wife has money, once she steps out of the house, she's already in another man's bed. Married to an oppressor. You are going to be praying, cast out that spirit out of your life. Cast, cast out that spirit. It's the devil that assigned that spirit. The man is not bad. It's the spirit operating it. The spirit that is operating behind him. You are going to be addressed. It's not the man. It's the spirit behind that oppression you will address. It's the spirit behind that oppression. That familiar spirit. You will address it out of my marriage in the name of Jesus.
the spirit that is working in my husband against me that spirit working in my husband against me that spirit using my husband to fight my destiny i cast you out of my life out of my home lose your hold over my husband's mind in the name of jesus christ lose your hold completely lose your hold completely in the mighty name of jesus christ Mashila baratoko sindaria. This prayer is for men and for women. For men and for women. There was a preacher. I think it was John Wesley. They said, when he goes out, in fact, when he has administration, his wife will lock him in the house and say, You're not going to preach. His wife will lock him up. When he goes to preach, in the middle of his sermons, his wife will shout. She will abuse him, call him a useless, useless man. Right in the midst of an audience where he's preaching. Imagine people that are reverencing man of God, man of God. Then your wife is saying, which dirty man of God? Which useless oppressors? If you have a call on your, of God on your life to ministry, you must pray this prayer from the bottom of your belly. The Father, send a man or a woman that will make it easy for me to achieve my purpose. A man or a woman that will make it easy for me to walk in my assignment. In the mighty name of Jesus, someone that will compliment me, someone that will not rest until I fulfilled my destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ, not an oppressor, not a competitor. No, 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 not someone that will be taken from me. Someone that will keep giving their best to me. In the name of Jesus Christ, Maraba Shatali Bradoshaka. If you have a great destiny on your life, that is the prayer you need to be praying. Don't just say, Father, send me a cool, calm, collected guy. No. Send me someone that will make it easy for me to walk in my purpose. That will make it easy for me to achieve my dreams. Not when you say you want to go for PhD. He says, what do, women, what do you need PhD for? What's wrong with this one? What do you need PhD for? You don't need that kind of man. Not when you say you want to go for, you want to further your career. And the woman is saying, is that the next thing? Is that the next thing? Is that what your mates are doing? Your mates are doing business. Your mates are doing business that is bringing money. Some women are like that. May the Lord deliver you from the hands of oppressors in your own home. The enemy within. The Bible says it was David that said it. He said the enemy, the greatest enemy, a man's enemy shall be of his household. The greatest enemy you can ever have is the one that is sleeping on your bed. Sleeping beside you in your house right under your nose right under your nose your husband will not be your enemy in the mighty name of jesus your wife will not be your enemy in the mighty name of jesus no 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 you will not marry a destiny killer you will not marry a destiny quencher you will not marry the man that will quench your prayer life you will not marry the woman that will quench your destiny you will not marry the man that will quench your i want you to prophesy over your life i will not marry the man that will quench my destiny I will not marry the woman that will quench my prayer life. I will not marry the man that will turn off the glory of God on my life. In the name of Jesus, when they see glory, they quench it. I will not marry glory quenchers. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I will not marry oppressors. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I will marry the man that will make it easy for me to achieve my purpose. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Malaba shatali bradoshtaka. Eko zuli bradush tekere masandalia. Mara ba sheketeli brados tekeria. Koza vila bakarish takari masontaria. Let me show you a scripture. Deuteronomy 32, verse 30. Let me tell you what God had in mind for your marriage. Deuteronomy 32, verse 30 exactly what God has in mind for your marriage. He said, how should one chase a thousand and two put ten thousand to flight except their rock? Let me, let me use another version. I don't like, I don't know what happened to my King James. They've changed all the words. They've changed all the words. He says, one man will chase a thousand and two will put 10,000 to flight. Do you understand? One man will chase a thousand and two will put 10,000 to flight. What does that mean? 
It means what you were doing alone. If what you were achieving when you were single was 1,000 miles or 1,000 credits, that was what you were achieving when you were single. When you get married, the Bible says it is meant to multiply. It's not meant to double. It's meant to multiply. It says because you are married now, you are supposed to be doing 10,000. He said two heads are better than one. Two heads are better than one. But some people, they were chasing a thousand before they got married. When they got married, it dropped to 500. It dropped to 300. It dropped to 200. Because they married wrongly. They didn't get it right. You didn't get it right. Or you married the one for you, but the both of you do not understand that you are one. That if, the, if we put our heads together, we are to multiply our results. Our results are meant to multiply. If, we, if I had one before, when I marry, it should turn to 10. It should turn to 1,000. Do you understand? Until two understand the purpose for which you were brought together. You will never fulfill this scripture. You will not fulfill this scripture. So for instance, you are single and you are a star. Or you are, your business is blowing when you get married. Because two heads are better than one. Your glory should multiply. Your star should multiply. Your income should multiply. Your resources should multiply. It must not reduce if you get it right. And if the both of you understand your calling, if the both of you join heads together, if the both of you come together and say, we are not against each other. We are for each other. Your win is my win. Your win is my win. Do you understand? When you are going higher, I'm also going higher. It's not a competition. We are in this together. We are in this together. We are, we are to join forces together. We are to put, I make one million, you put, let's put it together and do what my single one millionaire could not do before. Let's put it together and do what my single 20 naira could not achieve. Two heads are better than one. Marriage should multiply your, 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 your results. It shouldn't reduce it if you get it right. If you follow God's template for your life. If the both of you make God the author and the finisher. If you make God the director of your marriage, this will be your result. This will be your result. This will be the goal. This will be the goal. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will not marry the one that will quench your destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus. You will not marry the one that will quench your glory. Not the one that will mine us from you. You will marry the one that will add to you. In the, the Bible says God blessed Pharaoh. Was it Pharaoh or Potiphar? Because of Joseph. Laban. He told Jacob. He said come my son. I know that God has blessed my house because you are here. Because you are here. That's why the Bible says, he that finds a wife, finds a good thing, and obtains favor from the Lord. He that finds a wife, finds a good thing, and obtains favor from the Lord. Malaba shatali brado shtaka. If your experience is not the same, begin to pray right now. Let this, let the both of us begin to put 10,000 to flight. Let our two plus two begin to yield a million. Let there be multiplication in my marriage. Let the grace for multiplication begin to speak in my marriage. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, reverse every order of competition. Reverse competition. That's why you cannot compete. You can't. You can't. You can't oppress your wife. You can't suppress your husband. You can't. If you suppress her, you are suppressing yourself. If you beat her down, you are beating yourself down. Because your rising is in her rising. Her rising is in your rising. Do you understand that? Your rising is in her rising. Her rising is in your rising. God has joined you together. He said, and two shall become one. That means it's no more my wife. My, it's now you. You, both of you. One. 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 
Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I receive the one that will complement my destiny. I receive the one that will complement my life. I receive, pray for him. That's all you can do. Pray for him that the eyes of his understanding will be enlightened. That his eyes will be opened. That the Holy Spirit will speak to him. That's all you can do. Pray for him. That's all. Kali Mashatali, I just answered someone's question. Father, I receive the one for me. The one that will complement my life. The one that will complement my destiny. The one that will, that will make it easy for me to achieve my goals. Someone that I will say since I got married to you, everything has opened up for me. Doors are opening for me. Favor is coming for me. Doors are open for me. Ever since I married you, the kind of people that have not called me before are calling me to do business with me. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that's the marriage you need. That's the partner you will call for. That's the partner you will call for. You're going to pray for your marriage. Father, give us oneness of mind. If you are married to an oppressor, say, Father, touch my husband's heart. Touch my wife's heart. Minister to them. Speak to them. I hope the both of you are on this altar. Send them this video. Let them hear it. I hope the both of you are on this altar. Minister to them. Touch their heart. The Bible says the heart of a king is in the Lord's hand. Wherever he wishes, he directs it. Father, direct the heart of my spouse to favor me. Direct the heart of my spouse to favor me. Give us oneness of mind. Put us on the same page. Let us give us one vision, one goal, one assignment. In the name of Jesus Christ. One vision, one goal in my marriage. Give us oneness of mind. Oneness of mind in the mighty name of God. Let you see some of them are blind. They are blinded by culture. They are blinded by their background. They are blinded by their upbringing. They saw their father oppressing their mother. They saw their mother oppressing their father. And so that thing is in them. They grew up believing this is the norm. They grew up believing this is the culture. They grew up believing this is the normal way of marriage. You're going to ask the Lord to correct every wrong in your marriage. Every wrong mindset. Every unholy mindset. Every culture that is not of the Holy Spirit. That is actively at work in my marriage. Father, let it be corrected. Let it be corrected. Let the scales fall off my husband's eyes. Let the scales fall off from my wife's eyes. Open their eyes to see the truth. Open my marriage to kingdom culture. Open my marriage to kingdom principles. Cause us to begin to walk in kingdom culture. Correct every wrong mindset in my marriage. In the name of Jesus Christ. He says you should cast down every imagination. Every knowledge that exalts itself above kingdom. Cast it down in the name of Jesus. Every knowledge that is not of God. That is finding expression in my marriage. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Today is something else. Today is something else. I'm telling you. Today is something. You don't want to. If you miss this prayer, if you're just joining Mixelar Instagram, you need to go back and replay and pray these prayers for yourself. Pray these prayers for yourself. The worst thing you can ever get involved in is to marry someone that does not value money. The, one of the worst people you can get involved with is to marry someone that is financially handicapped, financially in bondage. I'm not talking about low income. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about his salary is something I'm not. No, no, no. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about someone that does not understand financial principles. That just feels that I can leave my from one debt to another, from one basic to another, from one. They just spend anyhow. They don't have any plans for their future. Don't, don't even try it. Don't even try it. Don't try it. They will frustrate your finances. They will frustrate you when you are planning you are saving money to buy something you are saving money to build you are saving money to advance in your marriage that money will be going to servicing their debt that money will be going to service issues i'm not saying there are not situations whereby you need to actually they are, they are hard-working men out there 
that actually have financial issues. They are hardworking men. So you can act if you have the money to help your husband. You should help your husband. If you have the money to bring him out of that debt, you should do it. Because the money is not yours. The money is for the both of you. You know, we women think his money is our money. My money is my money. No, his money is our money. My money is our money. Two shall become one. Do you understand? So to marry someone that has no value for money, does not want to work hard, does not want to get better, is going to frustrate you. But if your partner finds themselves in a financial issue and you have the ability, God has blessed you with the ability to help them, do it. Because in their helping them, you are helping yourself. You are sowing a seed for tomorrow. You are sowing a seed for tomorrow. A time will come where tables might turn around. And that man will remember. There are some men that don't remember. But there are some men that remember. There are some men that actually have active memory. That remember that this person was there for me. Do you understand? Do you understand? Father, we just thank you. Give us wisdom for finances in our marriage. Wisdom to make the right decisions in our home. Wisdom to make the right decisions in our marriages. There must be balance in everything. I don't teach, don't help, don't help your husband. It's a lie. I'm not going to teach you such. You must help your husband. You must support your husband's dreams. Give to it. Do all you can. Do all you can to see that he rises. Do all you can to see that he's lifted. Do all you can to see that he's blessed. Cover him when he has, when he doesn't have. Fill him the gap. Cover him. Don't expose him. You are a covering. He is a covering. Do you understand? You are a covering. He is a covering. You cover him. I cover you. Do you get what? Do you do you get the picture? You are built to cover each other. No man should know the difference. They shouldn't know the difference. No shtali barush takari masandalia. Mara bashata kali brodo siya tenga zusa palia. Zusa palati kori mashtekeli masusta pale marashtekeria. Father, we just thank you for wisdom for our marriages. We pray, Father, that you saturate our husbands with wisdom to lead us aright. If you're a man on this altar, say, Father, give me wisdom to lead my marriage, to lead my family to lead my home. Give me the wisdom that I need. Give me the understanding that I need. Give me the knowledge that I need in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Give me the wisdom that I need to lead my home. Give me the understanding that I need to lead my home. God should give you selflessness, the grace to be selfless, the grace to be selfless. Father, grant it unto me in the mighty name of Jesus. Give me the wisdom to lead wisdom to lead. You can lead according to culture. If you say by culture, in my father's house, where I was born, in my own house, they used to kneel down to serve my mother. They used to know you are joking. You are, in fact, that's the more reason why your wife will not submit. That's the more reason your wife will not submit. If you keep bringing the past templates into your now, and you are imprinting that blueprint that did not work, you are imprinting it imposing it on your marriage your marriage has its own template the template that god has given you that's the template you will follow you won't follow the template of your father's father you won't follow the template of your mother's mother you will follow the template that god has downloaded for your marriage and as a husband that is your assignment as a wife that is your assignment to follow that template to follow the path to follow the path in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. We draw us from foolish decisions. Any decision, any step that I'm about to take in my marriage. Any decision I'm about to make in my marriage. That will lead to trouble, lead to destruction, lead to division. 
Father, withdraw us from foolish decisions. Withdraw my husband and I from foolish decisions. Withdraw us from foolish decisions. If you are single, Father, withdraw me from foolish decisions. Withdraw me from taking steps that will harm my marital destiny. Withdraw me from taking steps that will destroy my marital destiny. Withdraw my spouse from foolish decisions. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, give my husband the fear of the Lord. That's one prayer I pray for my husband. Lord, give my husband the fear of the Lord. Give my husband the fear of the Lord. Give my wife the fear of the Lord. Let the fear of the Lord lead my husband. Let the fear of the Lord lead me. Let the fear of the Lord guide us. Let the fear of the Lord decide our decisions for us. Let the fear of the Lord make our decisions right. Let the fear of the Lord help us. Let the fear of the Lord be our guide by day and by night. Father, give my husband the fear of the Lord. Saturate his spirit with the spirit of the fear of the Lord. Withdraw us from making foolish decisions. Steps that we calculate in the flesh. Steps that we say, ah, if we do this, if we do that, it will flesh, carnal decisions. Carnal decisions. Withdraw us from carnal decisions. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, saturate us with the fear of the Lord. Let the fear of the Lord lead my husband. Let the fear of the Lord lead me. In the mighty name of Jesus. You see, if you have the Bible says, by the fear of the Lord, men depart from iniquity. It's not by the fear of you. It's the fear of God. The Lord, where I don't know what is up to, but let your fear guide him. I don't know what this woman is up to, but let your fear guide her. Let the fear of the Lord guide him. Wherever he finds himself, wherever he goes, let the fear of the Lord guide him. In the mighty name of Jesus, let the fear of the Lord, give me a man that has the fear of the Lord actively in his life, that walks in the fear of the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the fear of the Lord guide him. Let the fear of the Lord saturate his mind. In the mighty name of Jesus, when you are not there, it is the fear of the Lord that will make him make the right decisions. If someone calls your husband to do something against you, you say, ah, I fear God, I can't do this. The Holy Spirit will be convicting him, saying, hey, you want to do that. So you want to do this and you think your wife will not know. You want to do this and because you think your husband will not know, that's the fear of the Lord actively at work in his life. Father, give me such man. Saturate my heart with the fear of the Lord. Some people, their conscience have waxed cold. Their conscience is cold. They do things, they wake up from the bed of adultery and they don't even feel a thing. They wake up and they'll pick the phone and call their wife. The girlfriend is right beside them. Hello, honey. Honey, yes, I'm on my way home. I'm just in a meeting. The fear of the Lord has disappeared from their life. They are no more hearing God. They are not hearing. God is speaking, but they are not hearing. You say, Father, give my husband the fear of the Lord. Give the man I will marry the fear of the Lord. Give my wife the fear of the Lord. In the name, let their conscience be tender before you. Let their hearts be tender. Let them be malleable in, their, in your hands. Let my husband be flexible in your hands. Let my wife be flexible in your hands. Give my spouse the fear of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Give them the fear of the Lord. Mora bashanta libra doshtaka. Mora bashanta libra doshtakila. Es pregulusu mere doshtakilia. Es alabra tu makashta liva rasto kuri mashandalia. E pronosula baratia kashendelia. E pronosula baratia kashendelia. E pronosula baratia kashendelia. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, give us the fear of the Lord. Saturate our home, our marriage with the fear of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Wisdom to lead us in the way of the Lord. Give it to my husband. Wisdom to lead this family in the way of the Lord. Give it to my wife. Wisdom to lead us in the way of the Lord. Grant it unto us, O God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Rabba Shadali Bara Shotekiri Mashandalia. I want you to prophesy over your marriage. My marriage will not fail. My marriage will not fail. My home will not fall apart. In the name of Jesus Christ. My marriage will not fail. My home will not fall apart. In the name of Jesus Christ. My marriage works. 
I decree you in the name of Jesus that everything works in my marriage. Everything works in my marriage. Everything works in my marriage. My marriage will not fail. My home will not fall apart. My marriage works. Everything works in my marriage. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everything works. Everything works. Everything works. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let that which was not working before in my marriage begin to work. Let that, you know when you ask people what's going on, say it's not working. Father, let it begin to work. Let it begin to work. Let my marriage begin to work. Let my home begin to work. In the name of Jesus Christ. You need to be positive. Some of you, you have used your marriage to destroy, you have used your mouth to destroy your marriage. The more you pray, the after prayer, you will go back and say it's not working. After prayer, you go back and say, this marriage is a mistake. After prayer, you go back and scatter everything again with your mouth. My marriage works in the name of Jesus. My marriage will not fail in the name of Jesus. Everything works in my marriage. And that which was not working before begins to work. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Everything works in our marriage. In the name of Jesus. Everything is working out for our good. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You use your mouth to speak life into your marriage. Maybe do you physically speaking or in the natural. Or things are not going the way you want it to go. Use your mouth to make it work. My marriage works. My marriage will work. My marriage will not fall. My marriage will not fail. My marriage is blessed. My marriage works. Everything works in my marriage. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Everything works. Bless your marriage. Speak good things over your marriage. In the name of Jesus. Everything works for me. Everything works. That which was not working before begins to work now. Mention that thing that was not working before. Say, Lord, let it begin to work now. In the mighty name, let communication begin to work. Let our intimacy begin to work. Let our finances begin to work. Let everything begin to work in my marriage. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let everything begin to work in my marriage. In the name of Jesus. Don't say your marriage is not working. My marriage works. It works in Jesus name. Faith calls those things that be not as though they were. Faith calls those things that be not as though they were. Everything works in my marriage. Ah, everything works in this home. Everything works in my home. Everything works in my marriage to Joshua. In the name of Jesus Christ. My marriage works. Nashala baro seketi marosh teke. It will not fail. In the name of Jesus Christ. I speak a positive turn around. Positive turn around in my marriage. Positive turn around in my marriage. Positive turn around in my marriage. I decree there shall be a positive turn around in my marriage. I decree there shall be a positive turn around in my marriage. My marriage will not fail. In the name of Jesus, take your marriage back. You need to take your marriage back. You have used your mouth to commit it into the hands of the enemy. So the enemy is playing football, eating breakfast, playing football in your marriage. He has turned your marriage to his field where he's committing all kinds of atrocities. I cast you out in the name of Jesus Christ. I command you out of my marriage in the mighty name of Jesus. Every negative word that I've spoken over my marriage, Father, I will dissolve it now. I quench it now by the blood of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus neutralize it. Every negative word that I've spoken over my marriage, let the blood of Jesus neutralize it in Jesus' name. Let it neutralize it. Let me tell you something. If you keep saying, just let me know. If you're no longer interested in this marriage, I can move on. I will go. I'm all right. I'm comfortable. You give your marriage power not to walk. You can speak life instead. The Bible says death and life are in the power of the tongue. And you and I will eat the fruits thereof. So if you keep saying all those kind of things, you have created an exit door already. It's only a matter of time. You will walk through it. Bible says as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. Do you understand? So as long as you keep creating that exit door and you keep letting your husband know or you keep letting your wife know that if you, the next time you misbehave, there's a door. I've created a door, an exit. 
where I will pass through and leave you because I cannot come and die. Yeah, if you're saying that, the enemy, you're giving the enemy power to paint that thing, to make it a reality. You've got to be careful what you say. You've got to be careful what you say. You're giving the enemy power to make it a reality. That's why you must learn to control your tongue. Learn to hold your mouth. You are angry, don't say what you're about to say. You are upset, don't say what you're about to say. Control your tongue. Control it, then you go and say to someone that say, hey, she's married to a useless man. They will not add to it. People that have powerful tongues, they will add to it. As this one is adding, call this one. Did you see what my husband did? Ah, Papa, you will use less, sir. You are wearing you will use less. That, that, that what they're saying, that's what you will see. That will become the reality. As they're saying is useless, that is exactly what he will be doing. He will be showing you useless. You will see useless. As you are calling him useless, you will see useless. Whatever you say is what you will see. Whatever you say, God says whatsoever you man sows, he will reap. Whatever a man sows, he will reap. If you sow evil in your marriage, you will reap evil. If you sow negativity, you will reap negativity. Ask the Lord to give you the grace to control your mouth. To control. Self-control is a mastery you must gain. Self-control. Self-control. My husband can kill you with silence. If you like, when we just got married then, ah, I love to reply. Hey, if I compose message for you, yeah, 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 yeah. You would think from now to next day. You will look at me, look at the message again then. Oh, boo, why would you even write such? My husband would just... And that thing used to drive me crazy. Back then, I'm not like that anymore. The Holy Spirit is working in me, both to will and to do of his good pleasure. And to the glory of God, I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I've come a long way. But then, if I say, if I type message and send to you, Kaya Bashanda Libra, you won't be able to come home. My husband will say, he will just be quiet. Just be looking. I will be rising. I will be rising. My stomach will be rising. I will say, why is he not okay? Why can't he reply? Why can't he give it back to me? So that we can give it back to each other. The man will just be looking at me. Mm -hmm. He'll just be pressing his phone. When he starts, he'll grab his key, drive off. He'll come back when I'm asleep. May the Lord deliver us. God has worked. Ah, no, no, no. It was, it was. It... Thank you, Father. I'm so grateful at how far God has brought me. You've got to yield, constantly yield yourself to the Holy Spirit. Constantly, constantly yield yourself to the Holy Spirit. If you yield yourself to the Holy Spirit, you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. That's what the Bible says. If you yield yourself to the Holy Spirit, you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. So say, Holy Spirit, keep working in me. Keep working in me, both to will and to do of your good pleasure. Keep working in me. Keep working in me. Give me self-control. Give me self-control. Give me self-control. Keep working in me. Keep working in me. I'm telling you. Ah, he's Wale Shoenka. Wale Shoenka is uh, he's playing beside me. When I compose, even the devil will be afraid. Even the devil will be afraid. Wale Shoenka small beside me back then back then if i write and so structured so arranged i don't lose my train of thoughts i will arrange you i will fix you with my message i will fix you up but by the time you are done if there was any motivation in you it will just disappear it will just melt and i thought it was a strength i thought it was my strength i didn't know it was a weakness i thought it was my strength i didn't know it was a weakness it was a weakness. And so I thank God. I thank God. And he didn't give me a husband that knows how to reply you with backhand. Do you understand? He just replies with silence. And then that silence will kill me. Then the following day, I'll not be looking for how to apologize. Will you eat? Will you do this? I'll not be doing a schedule in the house. Guilty conscience because I know I've crossed my boundary. Do you understand? I'll not be thinking of how to apologize. Unnecessary wahala. Unnecessary wahala. Unnecessary. 
may the Lord deliver anybody that is still functioning in that spirit. May the Lord deliver you in the mighty name of Jesus. As He delivered me, He will deliver you. As He delivered me, He will deliver you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you will have self control. Your tongue will be tamed. In the mighty name of Jesus, your fingers will be in control. You will learn to put your phone. You will learn to say, hmm, just keep quiet. You will learn to be like a lamb in your marriage. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, God will give you the wisdom. The wisdom. There's a scripture. Let me show it to you. I'll leave you with this scripture. Proverbs 24. Verse 3 to 4. That's the word for today. By wisdom a house is built. And by understanding it is established. By knowledge the rooms are filled with all precious and pleasant riches. Listen again. By wisdom a house is built. And by understanding it is established. You need understanding to establish some of you are married but you're, you are married but your marriage is not yet established why there's a lack of understanding there's a lack of understanding there's a lack of understanding some of you are married but you have not built your house why there's a wisdom gap wisdom gap wisdom gap you need wisdom you need understanding and you need knowledge Amen. And you have received that impartation now. In the mighty name of Jesus. The impartation of wisdom. The impartation of knowledge. And the impartation of understanding. To build your home. To establish it. And to fill all the rooms in your house. In your house. With all pleasant riches. In the mighty name of Jesus. Say that to yourself. I receive knowledge. I receive the wisdom that I need. I receive the wisdom to build my house. I receive the understanding to establish it. And I receive the knowledge to fill it up with all pleasant and precious riches. Proverbs 24 verse 3 to 4. Hallelujah. 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 Father, we thank you. Father, we bless your holy name. In Jesus mighty name we have prayed amen 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 and amen um mixella we have a big problem because there is no <laughs> if you're going to replay this prayer on mixella you have to use youtube or you have to go to my instagram because there's no way to even end the broadcast there's no the 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 end okay all right, good. All right, I think I've ended it. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. It has ended so I can rebroadcast it. Thank you all for tuning in today. God bless you. Um, feel free to share this link with your married friends, your married sisters, your married brothers. Everyone needs to hear what the Lord is teaching us here. So feel free to, feel free to just broadcast it. Have a wonderful day and goodbye for now.